We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D and our family. Hello everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today we're making shrimp alfredo with tortellini pasta. This will make a great Valentine's Day entree, y'all. Yes, and here are our ingredients. Here I'm showing some of our ingredients. I'm not showing the shrimp or the seafood stock. Here we're preparing our pasta. Um, our water has started boiling and I'm adding it. Make sure to follow the instruction on your pasta bag, okay? The tortellini pasta is filled with three cheeses. Here I'm using a large deep skillet because we are making quite a bit of Alfredo salsa and now we are melting our butter. Always go back and check on your pasta to make sure it's cooking well and it's not sticking. Here I'm showing you our Old Bay seasoning and we will lightly season our shrimp because we don't want them salty so just lightly season them okay. Now we're going to quickly mix in our seasoning. Letting you all know these are the divine shrimp. Sometimes you have to go back and make sure they are properly divine and um and i did have to remove the peel from them and make sure to rinse them off thoroughly before adding your seasoning now back to our skillet we're going to continue to melt our butter and then add our minced garlic We're going to give this a stir. And now add in our shrimp. Letting you all know these are the colossal shrimp. Or you can use any size shrimp that you've purchased. Okay, what we're doing, we're gonna saute these up, but first we're gonna add a couple of more seasoning. Okay, here we're adding some black pepper. And some garlic powder. And we're gonna mix these in and just uh, cook these until they are almost fully cooked, not completely, because when you remove these from the pan, they're gonna continue to cook and you're gonna also add them back into the sauce, which is gonna finish cooking them. So we don't wanna overcook our shrimp. We want them to have a good, nice taste, okay? Okay, our shrimp are good to go. I let these cook for maybe a couple of minutes. It all depends on the size of your shrimp but these are ready and so we're gonna remove these from the pan and we're gonna go on to our next step now we're going to make our homemade alfredo sauce first we're gonna add our heavy whipping cream next we're adding our cream cheese I should have cut this into cubes, but I didn't, and it will melt faster. So we're going to continue to melt our cream cheese, and we're going to be right back. Okay, since our cream cheese has melted, now we're going to add our Parmesan cheese. Letting y'all know, this is my second bag of cheese that I'm pouring in. Okay, we're going to stir this in and let this cheese melt and begin to boil.
Once we add our Parmesan cheese, our sauce began to become very, very thick. So I use seafood stock. This helps to thin out our sauce and makes it very, very creamy. I always pour like a half a cup at a time until the sauce gets to the consistency that I'm looking for. Y'all, this sauce smells so good. We're going to continue to pour in our seafood stock. Okay, this is the creaminess that we're looking for. And now we're going to go on to our next step. Now we're adding our pasta to our sauce. Y'all, that pasta is so delicious. They are filled with these three cheeses, y'all. And they are so, so good. Y'all got to give this recipe a try. Since all our pasta is covered, now it's time for us to add our shrimp. Y'all, these shrimp are so, so good. Uh, I taste one, yes, I taste one before adding it to our sauce. Like I say, do not cook these all the way because they will continue to cook even after you remove them from the pan. And so, when you add it to your sauce, it's going to continue to cook again so all we're doing just warming and heating them up into our sauce so now y'all this dish is complete and ready to serve but i decided to add some broccoli to mine y'all yes this is one way of getting the kids to eat their broccoli yes we love our broccoli over here including the kids After mixing everything together, I gave it a quick taste and added some more Old Bay seasoning, y'all. And then after putting that in, it was all good to go. Always remember to taste your food and add more seasoning if needed. Okay, y'all, here's our shrimp alfredo with the tortellini pasta, y'all. This recipe was so, so delicious. Oh, the pasta was on point, and so was the sauce. I'm telling you, that sauce was so rich and creamy, y'all. The shrimp was so crispy. I like the pop of the shrimp when I eat my shrimp. Not overcooked, but just right. And I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Okay, y'all, I decided to top it off with some garlic bread, y'all. Yes, it was so, so good. And I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so y'all can get our new and upcoming videos. And to all our new viewers and subscribers, you are welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel. Okay, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed cooking with me as much as I enjoy cooking with you all. Oh, yes. We are doing a collab with Let's Cook with Ease. It's going to be a Valentine's Day collab. So be looking for that notification. Okay, y'all. As always, I'm going to say y'all have a blessed day. And bye-bye for now. Love y'all. Stay safe and be blessed. We are... At home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. That's a hit.